Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys for another video and once again today guys we are going to be playing pairs before our game on Wednesday night sporting against Barcelona in the Champions League group stage. For those of you who saw me in my last video when I did this I did Barca against Girona on the game that we played on Saturday which ended 3-0 in our favour but when I played on pairs I didn't do so well. On that day I ended up drawing 3 all, conceding 3 goals against Girona. So I'm hoping that in this game I can do slightly better and play slightly better as well because I didn't really play that well. A lot of people gave me a few tips about pairs. I hadn't had a lot of experience on here at all. Mostly played FIFA. So this is going to be an interesting game to see in a Champions League night. I'm also going to be in Champions League mode. They've got all the licenses so there's no excuses whatsoever in this game. I've got Alba, Umtiti, Pique and Semedo. He's going to come back in I think at right back. This is the team that I feel Valverde will field. Delafeo coming back in as well in the attack with Luis Suarez. Fresh from his goal against Girona, starting alongside Lionel Messi in that front line. So hopefully in this game we can get a positive result and a win. Let's have a look. So here we are, Barca again sporting in the group stage. Like I say, Pez does have this Champions League mode. They have all the licenses for the Champions League, so the scoreboard, the stats, the different things at the start. You can see here they've got all the good licenses, and it does look really, really good. And it makes you think, what would the game be like if they had the full licenses for everything? Because all of this looks very authentic. Even Barcelona and Sporting are in their Champions League kits. we got our official badges on our sleeves, so it does look pretty good. And we're going to see here how I can perform today. Hopefully the pressure of the big Champions League night will get to me, or won't get to me I should say, but Matthew is lining up against us and that really does strike fear into all of us. But hopefully for the right reasons we can get onto Sporting, we can create chances. I'm going to try and be a bit more patient in my build up today. A lot of people sort of said that I was trying to do too much too quickly in the last game and I needed to keep more possession. So certainly at Barcelona that's something that I'll look to do and hopefully here it can be to our benefit. But Sporting here starting on the front foot putting a shot wide in the early stages but right Ter Stegen now I'm going to play out the back and this time I am not going to concede directly from it pass there to PK we're okay we've got away with that one in midfield now with Rakitic out to Semedo I'm really looking forward to seeing him once again he's going to come back in he was rested against Girona and he gives us so much down that right hand side he really does always giving Delafeo an outlet always giving him an option and it's going to be good to see him in the Champions League once again he played so well well on his Champions League debut for Barcelona against Juventus so that's going to be a good to see him back on the right bus gets back in midfield Iniesta as well of course so much experience in the Champions League here's Suarez now Jordi Alba this is what I'm going to try and do just be nice and patient waiting for my moment bring Semedo into the game down that right hand side little ball there into De Fe. I'm not going to rush things taking things easy on the edge of the box now with Rakitic shot block there but we've got to be careful here because Sporting do have some dangerous players on the attack particularly that man there Baz Dost he is going to give us problems in the air certainly and that is why I would not surpri be surprised to see Gerard Piquet tomorrow return to the team Ter Stegen there taking a chance but we know he's so good with the ball at his feet here in midfield now with Busquets Messi dropping a bit deeper to receive the ball that's pretty realistic we saw him do that a lot at the weekend slips past his man there but he can escape Bruno Fernandes Fernandez. Now Iniesta in midfield, trying to break with it. Back into Messi. Nice little combinations here. Once again, looking up and looking for Iniesta, but Messi dispossessed. We've got it back though with Iniesta, losing it again. We're not quite getting that midfield going here. He is Doss that I was talking about in Sporting, looking to counter, but Samuel Mtiddy is there to save the day. Of course he is. Messi again, dropping in deep to receive the ball. He's got Suarez to his left. Instead, he plays it to Rakitic once again, trying to bring Semedo into the game. Very attacking, of course, down that right-hand side. He's got pace to burn, puts it into the area. Messi attacking it! Messi scoring! Unlikely with his head, but he does score from a Semedo cross, and that's a nice celebration. A little chest bump there with Nelson Semedo, and we do have the opening goal of the game, and that is really, really good to see. Matthew there explaining to his defender why he wasn't on the end of that one but really good to see Messi getting the opening goal of the game and it was quite unlikely in a racket inch here playing it out to Semedo we know all about his pace we know that he'll get down the right and he does produce good final passes that was a nice ball in Messi attacking it and Barca with the lead and I'm really happy that I scored the first goal
so Sporting now with a challenge on their hands. Matthew is possibly at fault for that goal, but of course I'm not going to lay the finger on him. But obviously I will say that he said that he would celebrate against Barcelona if he scored. He said that he was treated rather badly by Roberto Fernandez, and he's made a mistake there. Matthew Messi's in. It's two 0 Matthew with a big mistake at the back. Messi knows all about that and he was in to score a nice second goal and we are flying here in Lisbon. Little ball over the top, a long ball from Iniesta in behind the defence, drives it in. Matthew decides to take a touch in a dangerous area and never ever switch off around that man, Lionel Messi, who will punish you. Well, that was a definite quick-fire double there. Two goals in the space of a few minutes. Sporting Lisbon now with a real job on their hands. And I'm feeling really confident. I'm feeling good. You know, why can't we play Sporting every week and not Girona? Because they caused me real problems in the last game, particularly Porto, who scored a hat-trick. But we are doing much, much better today. And I'm feeling a lot better about myself. But hopefully we don't concede, though, because, I mean, I might start to crumble. You never know. We saw what happened in the last game. But here's Iniesta, totally dominating possession at the moment. Messi, of course, on a hat-trick. And he's got a few of those this season. Delafeo into Semedo. Could be three. Good save from the goalkeeper. Oh, Messi's got it, though. He's fallen to him. Little chip. Oh, Tried a little cheeky chip there, but that didn't work out. Messi, of course, has that kind of quality, but good play here. Like I say, even on this sort of game, you see the influence of Semedo down that right-hand side. He does like to get forward, and I'm not really sure what I was thinking when that finished. Got to be honest, Messi just scooping that one over the bar. But really, Sporting Lisbon are really panicking here. We're all over them in this first half. 30 minutes gone, and a much better performance here from Barca. Sporting now, though, down the right-hand side. Pacini used to play for Real Betis and uh, Ruiz. They've got a few exciting players. There, there are decent teams for one. I really don't want to take them lightly. Dost in the middle, though. We've got to be careful of that. We're a bit scared of them. Rakitic, though, happy to get back and defend. And now break out of defence. We have got numbers. We've got Messi. Nice little pass there. Messi has the pace to get onto it, but he can't quite reach it. Unlucky there. We've seen what sort of following in can do in this half. Jordi Alba stealing it there. Suarez trying to play too much too soon. But a very good half for Barcelona. Much, much better than the last game I played. We do go in two goals to the good. Thanks to Lionel Messi and a helping hand from Jeremy Machu. 2-0 at the break. Barcelona are leading. And you can see from the halftime stats here, two goals scored, of course, but dominating in possession. We've made just a few more passes, though, than Sporting Lisbon, but a lot more accurate in our passing. More shots, of course, Sporting, just the one shot so far, and they have not caused us any problems whatsoever. And we're going to hopefully hold on to this lead in the second half. And I think it's really important tomorrow, this game, because a lot of people think that, you know, maybe it might not be such a big game in the group stage. But I disagree. I think if we've beaten Juventus, of course, at home, and then if we go to Sporting away, which could be a tricky game, you know, if we don't bring our A game, they could cause us some problems. I remember a few a few years ago, of course, when Pep was at Bayern, Porto, another Portuguese side, on their own soil, ended up beating them in a knockout game team. Messi now, though, he sees Suarez in space, gets it there, and of course, sticks it away. Suarez with the goal. It's 3-0, and looking very comfortable now for Barcelona, and I really hope that we can see that against Sporting from Suarez. I want to see him scoring in successive games, getting that confidence back, and scoring week in week out like we're used to him doing at Barcelona Messi sees him takes one touch and drills it in the near post pass Rui Patricio 3-0 Barcelona Wow, I was not expecting it to be this comfortable, to be perfectly honest, particularly after that Girona game. I was coming into this with a little bit of scepticism. You know, I didn't know how this was going to go, but we certainly played a lot better here. I seem to be grasping the basics of pairs, hopefully, but you never know. I did concede three goals in the last game, so don't count your chickens just yet. 
um, Teddy out the back. I might think about making some changes in a minute, actually. You know, if we're 3-0 up, Valverde would definitely rest a few players. And I want to see the likes of Danny Suarez getting some minutes. Messi, they're breaking through once again here. Nobody can catch him. Uh, maybe they can, but only because I stalled. Nothing to do with Messi. You wouldn't catch him in those situations. Iniesta, 1-2 with Ivan Rakitic. Iniesta gets it back and forces Patricio into a save. And I am going to take this opportunity to bring on some substitutes from the bench. Denny Suarez, I mentioned, I would certainly bring on. We're going to give Iniesta a well-earned rest because he started a lot of games of late. And I think if we're winning in this game, we should definitely give him a run out. Rafinha's on the bench here. Obviously, he's not fit for the game, as is his man, Dembele. I'm going to bring on Andre Gomez. I'm going to bring him on for Rakitic, see how he does. And I'm also going to bring on uh, Alex Vidal for Gerard Delafi. I'm going to bring on Vidal, see how he does. He got an assist, of course, against Girona. Didn't play fantastically well, but we're going to give him a run out here on that right wing position. I'm going to do what a lot of coaches hardly ever do, and that's make three changes all in the one move. So we're going to see how that turns out. Semedo, though, on the edge of the box, saved by Patricio. He has been really, really involved in this game so far. On the edge now with Busquets, he's not going to take a long range shot, instead he's going to play a nice back heel, Denny Suarez, now Luis Suarez, taking on his man, pulling it back, nothing doing here though, Andre Gomez back to Jordi Alba, now Busquets again and we start the attack all over again, nice play, Matthew in the way of it though. But don't worry, it's back with Busquets. And this is what Busquets does. He just stays in that position, gets the ball. He doesn't rush anything. He doesn't try and sort of play something when he can't see the pass. He waits, he waits, he's patient, and he can run things from that midfield. Little one-two there, Andre Gomez into Lionel Messi. Takes a little turn. Uh, right. Again with the finish there. Not really sure what that was intended, but... Um, Messi on a hat-trick and trying to do things in style. Upfield now by Patricio, headed down by Mtiti. We're just dominating everything here. What a ball that is from Andre Gomez. Over to Luis Suarez, who cuts inside, has a little look at the goal and goes for it. And that was very close indeed from Luis Suarez, cutting in from the right. What a pass here out from Andre Gomez. Suarez cuts inside his man and drills it towards the far post. And he is not far away there. Great effort from Luis Suarez and pretty close indeed to making it four on the night. Stake there by Amtiti, of course, but he tries to get back. They've got Akuna on this left-hand side, but Semedo, so quick, so comfortable, so easy there. Defensively, so good. Busquets building again. Here goes Denny Suarez. Now Andre Gomez. Suarez ahead of him, plays it into his path. Little back heel from Suarez, back to Messi! Nice little bit of play. Again, Rui Patricio having to work hard. And a lovely bit of play this was, though. Denny Suarez into Gomez. Nice pass forward. Lays off as a back heel. And Messi drilling it towards the far post before it's pushed around the post by Rui Patricio. And Barcelona dominating here. And I want to take a short corner, but I'm not entirely sure how I do that. So I'm going to just drill it to the edge of the box towards Semedo. That's not really gone to plan, so we won't do that again. But here's Bruno Cesar, and hopefully Sporting don't hit us on the break here. They are in a, they are in a good position here. Baz Dos, not blessed with pace, but PK also getting back is the same sort of position. Try and head him off. That didn't really... Oh, that... Well, that was a bit stupid. We were indeed caught on the break. PK lunging. Oh, well, we're lucky it's not a red. At least it's a yellow for Gerard PK. Just second. Not happy with the decision, but I think that was probably warranted. A uh, bit stupid there to dive in. Doss was in on goal. I, I expected him to sort of turn more into goal, but look, we got to a Stegen. He can do this. They're giving me tops on how to save the penalty. Yeah, that's okay, but um, here goes Dost. Ter Stegen can do this. Come on. Oh, he saved it. To the left, and no beating the German wall. He's celebrating there in goal. Oh, well done, my friend. Good little save there. And Ter Stegen now with the ball at his feet. So calm, so cool. He's made Dost look like an idiot. And I've given it away. Oops, okay. <laughs> Let's not get too overconfident now, but that's that's good to see. Okay, we've given it away again. Dost has, has just put that wide. Okay, calm down now. We need to stop this overconfidence. But Ter Stegen, great save from the penalty. But we've been let off the hook a bit there uh, from Baz Dost. Playing at the back this time, though, in the right way. We're not going to concede doing it into Amtiti. And now Alba, just 10 minutes to go here. Can we get another goal to embarrass Sporting further 
I think if it was 3-0, though, we'd be pretty damn happy with that. This is not going to be such an easy game. I think 3-0, but Messi's on one of his rampages. He wants the match ball. Into Danny Suarez, who gives it away, though. Looking for Andre Gomez. Doesn't come off there. Oh, I should have intercepted that as well. I don't know. I want another goal. I don't know why. I'm, I should be really happy with this, considering how the last game went. But I just want Messi to complete his hat-trick. There might be a bit of added time. Here's Acuna, though. We don't want to give away another penalty, but Semedo's there to defend, as we knew he is. Nice little ball there for Lionel Messi. Right, let's go alone. It's Messi. Can he get the hat-trick? That he, that he, that he, that he... Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, maybe not, maybe not. Two minutes added time. There's still time. If we can just get the ball back quickly. Get it back, get it back, guys. Okay, we're, we're not getting it back. We're not getting it back. Semedo's there again. Okay, I'm more focused on scoring, not defending. But we are going to win this game by three goals to nil. The referee is going to call time any minute now. Sporting with a corner. But now we know that the game is won. And this is a much better result than I was expecting. And this is much more like it. Ter Stegen gets it in his arms. Rolls it out to Semedo. And that is it. Full time. Barcelona 3. Sporting Lisbon nil. Lionel Messi the hero with two goals. Machu gifting him one of them. Suarez rounding off the goal scoring now. And if we just take a look at the goals, it started down this right hand side. Semedo powering his way through, lifted into Messi, who scores via his header. And I do like the celebrations on pairs, they're pretty realistic. You can see Messi here after he's scoring, clearly very happy to score. And I do like the graphics close up, they do look very realistic. And a great little assist there, and a chest bump after the goal from Semedo and Lionel Messi. And then it was Messi who added the second. Iniesta with the long ball through. Machu should have just cleared this or passed it back to Patricio. He did neither. Messi was there to make amends and certainly make him pay for that mistake. Eagle-eyed, quick as a flash, and that was two quick-fire goals. Scoring was then rounded off by Luis Suarez. Messi with the assist, playing the pass into him. Suarez in space, and from that range, he is not going to miss. He could have put it across the goalkeeper, but typical Suarez doing the thing you least expect. And this is a big moment too. Penalty save from Mark andre Ter Stegen. Bastos, prolific goal scorer, but not on this occasion. Very Ter Stegen-like, gets out that arm and stops it going in. And in the end, it was very comfortable for Barcelona. Three goals scored 64% possession, four times as many shots with eight of those coming on target, more corners, more free kicks, more passes, in general, much better on Sporting on the night, and luckily we've come away from this goal with a win, and it was so much better than that Girona game, so hopefully I can improve on pairs, of course we've got FIFA coming up as well in the next few days, I want to do that career mode of course we've all been talking about, I know you guys are excited about that, I'm excited about that too, so hopefully that can come in the next few days when it comes out here in the UK. I'll be getting that up for you as soon as possible. So thank you once again for joining me here guys with this game. Like I say, tomorrow I will have my usual match preview coming up for this game where we'll discuss the squad, the team, how we're going to play, what the possible prediction is. I would be really happy if it turned out something like this. 3-0, a comfortable win. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below on this type of video, guys. If you like it, please let me know and I will continue it. If you don't though, please also let me know and I'll be happy to bring it to a close if it's what you want. So let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you very, very soon. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barça.